Yeah, this is one of the bags I'm, I'm going to be showcasing today. I picked this up from Amazon. It's called Hunt It. And uh, I'm always looking for good bags to use for hunting. And this one fits my needs. And I'll show you why I picked this bag. And it's a very good price too. Real good price. I mean, I kind of pass it up on Amazon. And I'll share the link down below. So yeah, let's let's uh, get all geared up and uh, let's head into the woods. it is but I'm out here small game hunting and crossbow hunting in Wisconsin you can dual hunt or you can hunt multiple species as long as you have the correct license and you're using the correct rifles or bow for what you're going after technically I could just use a crossbow for small game especially squirrels but I don't want to lose any of my bolts they're pretty expensive so I brought my 17 HMR out with me and there's there's a lot of bags like this where you can actually carry your secondary rifle with you so it's got this little pouch so it's got this little pouch it's got some buckles so you can actually carry your secondary weapon with you. I've been looking for a bag and just can't seem to find one that fits my needs. And after searching name brands and just uh, searching Amazon and I saw this one, I was like, hmm, for the price, you really can't beat it. So, but uh, yeah, let's dig into this bag of why I bought it. So let's go ahead and take this rifle off. Right now it is unloaded. There's no ammo in here right now. So let's go ahead and take this uh, gun off first. Because I am bow hunting, crossbow hunting, I do have my bolts right here as well. So yeah, let's take these out right now too. So I love the deep side pockets, it's mesh, so if it gets wet, it'll dry out. So let's just take these bolts out. So place it right here. Alright guys, so this is the hunted bag. It's got one, two, three small front pockets. It's got the main zipper. But first, let's look at the side mesh pockets. They're actually pretty deep, so I can actually put my bolts on my arrows on the side. And it's got the side clips that I can clip it in to keep the arrows from falling out. One side, I usually put my water bottle, my water bottle in. The other side is where I usually put my bolts. Let's start from down here. This is for the butt of the rifle, so you can get you carry your secondary here in Wisconsin. So we can actually carry two rifles with us or a bow and a rifle crossbow and a rifle as long as we have the proper license and also the we're using the proper the proper tools to harvest whatever we're, we're harvesting so that's why i brought my 17 hmr for small game i also brought my crossbow for deer if i do happen to see a deer and this bag makes it really nice to carry both tools with me so I can keep one hand on the crossbow and carry my small game rifle with me. So basically it just clips in and 
this one will clip down here, I'll clip up here, and it'll keep your rifles pretty secured. So let's take a look at the first zipper bag. It zips all the way down, so I'll just carry my my ammo with me, my 17. I got my deer drag, my pull ropes, and my pocket knife, and then whatever tools that you want to put in here, which is, which is fine. And then the second zippers is actually a pocket, and it's pretty deep. It's pretty, pretty close to 10 inch deep, so it starts from here. And it goes all the way down to right about here. So you know, you're looking at about probably about nine inches. And in this bucket, I keep my grunt. I also keep some snacks. I also keep some snacks in here. And then whatever I want to put in there. Then the next one, which is another pocket, as a content creator, we have to carry batteries with us. And this nicely keeps everything separate. So I have my batteries right here, and this pocket's very close to probably 12 inches deep, 10 to 12 inches deep. I don't have a tape measure with me, so I can't measure, but I also keep my mask in here. So I actually keep an extra battery charger with me. So that goes in there. Some heat packs, in case if I need it. And this fits really nicely in here. Let me close that up just makes it organizing a lot easier that's one of the reasons why I like it and then you got the main compartment where you can put whatever tools you need in here and right now it's basically empty this is where I have my my camera gear so this is my other GoPro I got my flashlight in here and in the main pocket it's also got this little back pocket so you can keep things separate so I'll just put my flashlight in here then above here, it's got two little two little cords up here, so you can actually hang your keys on this if you want to. So it's easier to get to when you get back to the truck, or easier to get to so your keys not stuck all the way in the bottom. Or you can hook up uh, whatever you want to right there as well. So let's zip this back up, and let's look at the back. I really love this design because for the price, I mean, you're getting a lot out of it. I'm not sure what kind of material this is, but it could be, it feels like leather. But I'm not exactly sure if it is leather or not. And this material is really high quality. It could be fox leather. Leather, I'm not exactly sure, but it's even got these little straps, these molly straps, I think they're called, that you can hook up whatever you need to right here as well. Then you got the chest buckle. If you're carrying a lot of heavy stuff, that really helps. And down here, you also have the waist strap. I don't really use this because I don't carry too much heavy stuff in here. But you can put this around the waist to secure it more to your to yourself. Let me put my ammo back so I don't forget. So it just goes on like any other backpack. It's really comfortable. It's got the real nice padding which I like. And this chest piece right here, if I'm carrying heavy stuff, this kind of helps to take off the pressure. And here I am. I'm all set. So yeah, but this is basically what I wear for when I go for hunting small game or whatever. And right, since I'm here, I might as well show off my new bag too. This is something I just bought too for my binoculars. This is the, I believe it's the Badland XR binocular uh, case. And I've seen some uh, reviews on it too. And that's what kind of made me buy it. So down here I got my rangefinder, my Monarch. 7i VR and I just kind of have a long string in case I uh, in case I'm ranging something I, I see deer I want to grab my bow or gun or whatever I can just drop it down and, and that's not going to go anywhere and I just pull it back up 
and this is a magnetic and boom just put it right back in there and just close it I'm good to go probably gonna shorten the strings though because it's a little too long and now up here it's also a magnetic I'll just pull it down boom all my binoculars are all set to go just pull it out pop the lens down Then I could just start using it. But man, it is chilly today. It is 20 degrees and now I'm out here in just a hoodie. Crazy me. Put it right in. And it goes in pretty easy. And then boom. Good to go. I could put my other gears in here too. I could put extra ammo or my knife in here. Got some little back pocket behind this thing too. So, I think I have my GoPro right here, and it's really nice. And if you're wondering what uh, Flynox these are, these are just a uh, Leupold McKinsey HD 10x42, and these are all crystal clear. Really nice to have a nice pair of binoculars when you're hunting, especially if you're in a tree stand, and it helps you see things a lot, a lot better. And I just close it up and. And everything is all nice and tight. I can still have my rifle up, my bow up right here, and everything misses. So, yeah, it's really nice. And that's basically it. And yeah, let me turn around. Side view, back view. And that is basically it. So, yeah, make sure you guys go check out this link down below. I am uh, getting a small commission from it and every little bit helps as uh, this is all self self-funded for me to come out here so but yeah let's go find some small game or even some, some squirrels to hunt or something so all right guys hope that you guys like this field review of this a uh, hunted hunting backpack i like it so far and uh yeah, I highly recommend if you guys are looking for a backpack, I highly recommend getting this one, especially for the price. And uh, I just checked in a there's a five percent coupon too, so just pay attention to those coupons and you can get even less. And I'm so far I'm loving it so but yeah, I'm just sitting here, haven't seen anything yet. No deer, no squirrel. Well there's fresh snow, it's kinda Hard to walk in the snow, so yeah, it's getting cold. I left my coat in the truck. I, I just want to get out here and totally forgot about it. So, <laughs> anyways, got some ice fishing videos coming up, and got some big things coming up. Still got to do my one giveaway, so stay tuned to that. That's gonna be my, my New Year giveaway since it's so close and everything. Go from there. So, as always, follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen. See you guys on the next video.